It's time for Real or Fake. They're real oh. and they're spectacular. Here are Lauren and Rachel. All right, ladies, your first real or fake question for the evening is the following. LeBron James is all up in his feels on Instagram because a group of executives excluded him from votes as the greatest NBA player in the NBA right now. Real or fake, LeBron James is going to buy his own team so he can vote for himself. <laughs> you know, I could totally see that happening. I would say real. LeBron loves LeBron. Yeah, he does. It, LeBron is weak. The, look, he's gotten so defensive about this. And I just want, look, where was all this defense in the, in the, in the postseason? I mean, the Lakers could have used some of that. Hey, that's true. Honestly. I, I say, okay, what, you're, you're 36 years old, you got four rings, I think it's time, you can step away, I know you're trying to be like, MJ, go till 38, you want six, but calm down. Well, you know what, Barry, he should just start his own team so he can get those votes. Either that, or if you're going to cry on Twitter, just use one of Kevin Durant's burner accounts. That right. makes oh. a lot easier. Detroit Tigers color analyst Jack Morris has been suspended indefinitely after using, let's call it a questionable accent in regards to Shohei Otani. Now what do you do with Shohei Otani? Be very, very careful. Well, folks, uh, Shohei Otani has come to the plate and uh, it's been brought to my attention and I sincerely apologize if I offended anybody, especially anybody in the Asian community, for what I said about pitching and being careful to uh, Jose, or Shohei Otani. I did not intend for any offensive thing, and I apologize if I did. Certainly respect and have the utmost respect for this guy. And uh, don't blame a pitcher for walking. Lauren, this one's for you first. Real or fake, Jack Morris will now be doing color analyst duties in the <laughs> Japanese Baseball League. Barry, that is totally fake. He is not going to go do that. He had a miss up, apologized for it, and, uh, you know, just like Stephen A. did, I guess you would say a month ago, talking about the accent with Shohei Otani and or his language in general, the language barrier. So, no, that's not going to happen. I don't see it. Mm. Uh, fake. Because, first of all, like she said earlier, you would need to speak Japanese. And clearly, he does not do that well because that was just horrible. But with that being said, Morris is a legend in Detroit. I don't think that he's going to lose his job indefinitely. I mean, definitely. He will not lose it definitely. So I think he'll be back, but he definitely needs to apologize because as a broadcaster, you got to be better. He did apologize. He apologized over he's the He's going to have to apologize more because that wasn't a very good apology. So, yeah. I, if it were me, I would have just been like, oh, no, I, just, I was using Google Translate, and that was my <laughs> phone. All right, real or fake question number three. Uh, Cole Hamels made a million dollars this year not pitching for the Dodgers. He was signed, he got injured in a simulated start, and never threw one baseball for the team. So, real or fake, Rachel, this is for you. The Dodgers are going to ask Cole Hamels to play for free next year. No, Cole Hamels don't play for free, Barry, because if I remember correctly, Cole Hamels in the last two years has pitched about three innings and made about $9 million, give or take. So, no, he don't pitch for free. Uh, you know what? More power to you, dude. It's like Congress, like it, not really doing their job, but still getting paid for it. Oh, I was going to say yes to the comment before that. Just like a kicker, like you get on the team, you make so much money, you're never put at risk for injury barely so he's got the best like he's got the best job I feel like Rachel you probably could have just stopped that Colt Hamels doesn't pitch the for yeah. free the for free part we didn't need he just doesn't pitch anymore not in a long time <laughs> all right real or fake number four David Culley of the Houston Texans was asked about going for it on fourth down and whether he would rely on analytics provided to him to make that decision he said he'd go with his gut. Well, it's not so much the probability. It, it'll be more so how I feel at that point about going for it. I know analytics has those things out there. Uh, we are, we do have access to all of that. But I'm old school in a way that, you know, when, I, when we're playing, if I'm not feeling it, we're not doing it. So regardless of what that chart says. Ladies, real or fake, David Culley's going to probably refer to Deshaun Watson for advice on going for it. Oh, on going for it? We're talking about football, right? Ooh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, this is totally fake. He's not going to go to Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson's barely talking in the media. And when he does, 
it's not happy thoughts, as we mentioned on last week's show. Uh, no, he's not going to go to Deshaun Watson on anything really regarding play calling this season. Oh, poor David Coley. This guy's just going to get – we are in for a season Houston, the 2021 Houston Texans football season is going to be entertaining at the lead. I am cheering you on, David Coley, and your gut. Let's go. I can see that conversation. Hey, Deshaun, fourth down, what do you think? Hit the hole. <laughs> Sorry. That's a wrap. <laughs>